test trigonometric identities application and thinking problem so here we have a couple of thinking problems question number one is if tan x plus sin x equals to m and tan x minus sin x is equal to n show that m square minus n square equals to four times square root of mn so note the question copy it and then try to do write down your solution once you've done then look into my solution take it as a test so that'll be a very good question for your practice okay now this is how i'm going to do it so what i'll do is that i'll figure out what is m square minus n square and also what is 4 square root of mn and if both are same then they are same right so let me start with the left side which is m square minus n square so i have m square minus n square is equal to m is tan x plus sin x so i'll write tan x plus sin x this is m square minus n square which is tan x minus sin x square right so that is what i get now if i expand it so if I expand it, I get tan square x plus sine square x plus 2 tan x sine x, correct? And if I expand this, I get tan square x plus sine square x minus 2 tan x sine x, correct? So what do I get? So I get tan x square x plus sine square x plus 2 tan x sin x right and if I square this one with minus I get tan square x plus sin square x minus 2 tan x sin x okay when you add them it's normally this number is written in the middle I'm just writing it on the side so tan square x minus tan square x is 0 sine square x minus sine square x is 0 and 2 tan x sine x minus 2 tan minus of minus 2 tan x sine x becomes 4 tan x sine x right so this is actually equal to let me write here this is equals to 4 let me write this in a different thing for you so that becomes 4 tan x sine x so m square n square is 4 tan x sine x correct so that's what we got now let's try to do what is 4 times square root of mn so we'll do 4 times square root of mn that is equals to 4 times m is over than square root m is tan x plus sine x and n is tan x minus sine x Correct. Now, when you multiply a plus b times a minus b, you get a square minus b square. So I get 4 square root of tan square x minus sine square x. Correct. Now, to simplify it, I will write tan as sine over cos and then see what do we get. So we get 4 times. So tan square x can be written as sine square x over cos square x minus sine square x square which is equal to 4 times square root of so I'll take common denominator which is sine square x minus sine square x cos square x over cos square x square root now now I need to solve this and to solve this what I will do is I can take sine square x common right so if I take sine square x common and I can already factor out cos square x because square root of cos square x will be cos x so I can write this as 4 over cos x and within square root I've got sine square x common and I get 1 minus cos square x correct and this I can write this as 
4 over cos x and within now sin square x okay let me first write sin and 1 minus cos square x is also sin square x so that gives me sin square x times sin square x right so now I can write sin square x outside the bracket so I get 4 over cos x times sin square x right now I'll reorganize these terms I need tan x and sin x correct so I'll do 4 times sin square x I can write sin x times sin x so I get sin x times sin x over cos x which is equal to 4 times tan x dot sin x which is same as c in 1 we got m square minus n square which is same as m square minus n square which we got earlier and therefore we can say that 4 square root mn is equal to m square minus n square so I like you to think over it and do it on your own if you haven't got it right in the first time because this is kind of a typical problem and variation of this problem can be asked we can replace tan with cotangent and sign a different number and ask a similar question okay so that is how it is to be done thank you